Kendra, if you're trying to talk, I can't hear you. <laughs> no, I was I was singing and I was very thankful. Oh. The, uh, I started singing, not realizing what I was doing. And I was like, oh, thank goodness the audio didn't start. Oh, no. I would have loved to hear it, though. <laughs> uh, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> How's everybody doing on Wednesday? Wednesday. day. Doing good? Oh, surviving. You said you're surviving? Yeah, pretty much. Is that Jade? Jade, you're talking? Okay. Surviving. Let's see if we can, after today, this class, make you feel like you're thriving. Ambitious? I think that's an ambitious goal. But I'm up for it. I mean, if you're going to do it, just aim for the top. All right. Last minute. Hi. Hi, puppy. Oh, my gosh. Your dog looks like my dog. Hey, pup, look at me. Hi. No, no, no. Over here. Over here. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. It's like, no. It's so funny. Okay, well, you've opened the door. Now I have to get my dog. Come here. Oh. Say hi, espresso. Nope. Nope. Say hi. Can you say hi? Nope. So this is my puppy. I love you too. He's freaking out right now. You can tell by the way he's like holding my arm. So everybody else is good. Are we ready for class? We're ready to do amazing things. I see. I can so tell when you're trying to like leave. All right. So any questions about the class so far? No questions. We are good. I was wondering um, how much we should study for the quizzes. Um, you shouldn't study for the quizzes. Okay. Do not stress out about the quizzes. And thank you for mentioning that because that was going to be the thing that I was going to say next. Um, the quizzes are going to be based on, let me go put him up. Well, This is the first time I've ever heard. Okay, so the quizzes are not going to be like, what were the sock? What was the color of the socks that the person with the you know second molar were wearing? It's going to be very big, basic questions that if you're paying attention, you're you're going to get the answers to. So it's it, they're not meant to be tricky. It is legitimately, these are the things, these are the takeaways that I want you to have for the course. Um, so it's, it's, do not stress about this at all. Um, so I hope that that answers your question. So no studying, it's not going to be crazy. You know, if you get them wrong, it's fine. Um, as long as it gets done, I'm going to create one and try to get that posted. Um, so that you guys can get it on Friday and submit it before Saturday. That is my goal. Um, I hope that it'll, it'll work out. Um, but yeah, absolutely no stress on those, okay? Any other questions? My dog is angry now because I put it back in the kennel, you hear him? He's like, that was not cool, mommy. You gotta do what you gotta do. No other questions. How are the videos? How are you enjoying the workouts and the information? Good. They've been helpful. All right, cool beans. I got the doubles. Yes, the doubles with the pump. Like fun. that's the like ultimate. Um, okay. So today we are going to go over um, a little bit of posture and then we're going to get in uh, a workout. Hopefully we can do all of the things. Um, Next week, no, this is week three. I think next week, yeah, you have the videos on posture. Um, so we're going to touch on that and then go into a workout. Let me just make sure that that is 
what I remember. So this is week three, shoulder pain. Yeah, so we did shoulders. And then I messed up. I should have never taken him out. All right, so any questions with that video on shoulder pain? Does anyone have issues with their shoulders when they're doing push-ups or any type of movements? No, not yet. Good. Um, if you have, anybody have low back pain? Chronic low back pain. Okay, for those people that have chronic low back pain, do you find yourself reaching often? Reaching overhead? Yes, I have two nods. Can you see the correlation between reaching overhead and lower back pain? And I'm gonna stand up so that you guys can see it. So if I'm reaching often, but I need a little bit more range in my back. Sorry, I need to. And I don't have any more range in my shoulder. I'm going to show you what's going to happen. So here you are. This is where your shoulder stops, but you still need to get that thing. What you're going to end up doing is reaching with your back like this. That's going to cause that pain in the lower back, right? So again, tucking that tailbone under and making sure that you have range in that shoulder because if you don't have range in that shoulder, you're gonna compensate with your lower back. The other piece is if you have issues with your lower back, check the position of your hips. So right now I have a, an anterior pelvic tilt. So my, my hips are tilted back like this. I gotta get those hips under. So I tuck that tailbone under and that is going to relieve some of that curvature in, the, in my lower back, all right? So that was just a very, 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 very short kind of glimpse as to how your body is connected. We're gonna go over video, we're gonna see videos next week on that, but I just wanted to, to show you guys because I, I see a lot of people have lower back pain, but I bet people don't associate that lower back pain with the, um, the range of motion in their shoulder. Interesting, right? Who would have thunk it? Um, okay, so let's all stand up. We're gonna do a little bit of posture stuff. This is always really hard to do virtually, so I'm gonna try my best. You will also see next week, like I said, the video of me working with someone on this. So you see it kind of in real time so that it becomes a little bit more applicable and a little bit more interesting. So when I say stand with correct posture, what would you guys do? Let me hear you. What, what would be something that you would change? If I said stand with correct posture. Slight bend of the knees. What was that? Slight bend of the knees when standing straight. Slight bend in the knees, okay. I like it. Don't throw your shoulders back. Bring the shoulders back. I don't know. Stand back tall and upright. Stand tall and upright. Keep Somebody else said something. Jade, I don't know if that was you. Um, I said don't slouch, but. Don't slouch. What about the position of our feet? Is that, does that have anything to do with our posture? Trick question. The answer is yes. What about the position of our neck? Is that included in our posture? Yeah. Okay, so all of these things, when I say to people, fix your posture, they always just go, right? Everything else stays in the exact same position, but the shoulders go back and they stick out their chest. That's what we're taught, right? That's, that's good posture. But it's so much more than that. And you're going to see today and in the video next week, how every time you change one thing, it stacks on itself. So your body is always trying to find balance, right? 
Um, do you guys ever play, have you ever played the game Jenga? Yeah. Yeah. You're always trying to find neutral. You're always trying to find balance. If it's off balance, everything collapses. Your body is the same way. So if your head starts to move forward, then your shoulders start to move forward. If your hips start to move back, then your head starts to move forward. Then your arms start to roll in. So it, all the stuff um, comes into play together. So like I said, I'm gonna try and do this quickly so we can get a little bit of a workout in. All right, so the first thing that I want you to do, I can come forward a little bit more, right there. Okay, so rock back and forth on your feet and come to a neutral position in the middle. I want, imagine if your knees and your hips are over your heels. So it's gonna feel like you're gonna, you're leaning back. It's going to feel like you're doing this right? Because it's going to be so weird. And then what I want you to do is to think about lifting in the arches. So if we're looking at the feet, some people will be like this with their feet, where the inside of the feet is pressed down against the floor. We need that arch. You have that arch naturally, the muscles are no longer strong. So then it looks like if you have flat feet. It's not that you have flat feet for the most part. It's that we have to work those muscles. So what I want you to do is imagine lifting the arches. And if you're not sure where that is, let's see if I can do it like this. Okay. So here's my, here's my foot. And right now I'm kind of inside, right? You see how there's no arch here. I'm gonna take my thumb and index finger and I'm gonna bring it to the front. Uh, I'm gonna go like this so that you see it. So both dimples, there's like two dimples on either side of your ankle. One side is gonna go in a whole lot more than the other. So what I want you to do is find the middle. So for me, because I put so much here and you can see that it's pushing on this side of my foot, I need to come into neutral. I need to make my foot look like this. I can do that by putting my fingers on either side of this little indent on my ankle and making sure that it goes in the same on both sides so that it doesn't feel like this side is going all the way in and this side there's nothing and it doesn't feel like this side is going all the way in and this side is nothing. Okay, so you want to try to find the balance. And then when you find the balance, you're going to see that the arch, the inside of the foot. So, so I don't think this is the best of angles. So this is natural. You can see that I'm putting way too much pressure on the inside of my foot versus here. So you see that arch just kind of comes back. So a lot of people will get orthotics or something for this when really it's just a positioning of the foot in most cases. So after we do that, so here I am, poor foot positioning. I don't know if you guys can see my knees, but if I put my feet back into the proper position, do you guys see what happened to my knees? So this is poor position, proper position. You see that slight movement? You can see it really in my entire leg. Okay, so that's foot positioning. Hip positioning, we talked about it in the beginning of the class a little bit. Rock your hips forward and back, just the pelvis, just this, forward and back. And then you wanna make sure that that, pelt, that tailbone is pointed downward. And that's gonna get you into a neutral position. If you feel like that's not enough, bend the knees, tuck it a little bit more. So even for me going back and forth here, that wasn't enough. Bend, tuck it under, and then come up. So now in this position, you should already feel the tiny muscles in your bum firing, those are on. You should feel some muscles down here in the lower abdominals 
turned on. And then you should feel some stuff in your pelvic floor, like deep inside, those muscles are turned on because now your pelvis has to work, your body has to work to get that pelvis into neutral, right? Does that make sense? Thumbs up. You guys are with me? Okay, good. So now do a basic march, come back into that position again. Raised arches, tailbone tucked under. All right, now let's look at the hands. If your hands are pointed this way, palms are back in, in the tops of the hands are pointed forward, you have internal rotation in the shoulder. That's what people are saying, like bring your shoulders, open up your chest. But if I open up my chest, I still have internal rotation in the hands, in my shoulders, okay? So externally rotate, pinching in between the shoulder blades. So you're gonna pinch the shoulder blades together and pull them down. So it's two movements, pinch the shoulder blades together, pull them down. Now my hands are by my side. So we got kind of three things going, three things going. We got feet, hip, shoulders. The last thing is we're gonna make sure that the ears are behind the clavicle. So that's this, this bone here. So making sure to tuck that chin in and get that neck back, okay? This is your proper posture. This is the posture that you're aiming for every time you do your workouts, every time you're doing your movement, okay? So when you're doing uh, kickboxing or if we're doing any type of exercise, this is where I want you to start from, okay? Neutral position. We're gonna go over the videos and we're gonna go into it a little bit more. With that said, let's uh, grab some water and we're gonna start our workout for today. Do some stuff based on time. Oh, we're gonna do that first. Same thing that we did last week. We're just gonna add a little bit of variation. Um, I'm gonna try and do this without shoes. I don't wanna, I don't wanna put shoes on. Let's see if this works. I think I do need to be. If you are doing this without shoes, barefoot is gonna give you a little bit more grip, okay? So we're gonna do eight jabs on one side. Then we're going to, no, modify jumping jack for eight. Eight. Then modified jumping jacks, four, modified, four. And then modified two and two, two and two, okay? All right, so let's start on the right side. Give me eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Modified jumping jacks. We'll do both arms. So we're not adding a hop here because we're still working out. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jumping jacks modified. So one foot is on the ground at all times. We're doing four here. One, two, three, four jacks. Four on the left. Four jacks. Two and two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Ooh, that was bad. One, two. All right, shake that out. We are going into the cross. So left, uh, right foot forward, bringing the back arm across the body. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Modified jacks. We're modifying here because we're still warming up. At this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Modified jacks. One. Keep that core nice and tiny. Four, one, two, three. Four. Other side. One, two, three, four. 
I got my braids on today. I feel like a fighter. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Now we're gonna do uppercuts. Taking that back, uh, no, nope, we're gonna do the front, uh, the front arm. So that right arm, you're coming underneath your chin if you're looking at yourself in the mirror. Okay, just like this. Using the core, getting that rotation to get underneath and to come up, okay? So eight here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, modified jack, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four here, one, two, three, four, Yes, one, two, three, four. Two and two. One, two. One, two. One, two. And last one, one, two. All right, shake that out. Now we're gonna do, actually let's give our arms a rest and we can come do uh, a modified jack, bringing the hands out in front. We're gonna do a hook. So we're gonna go hook head, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jumping jacks, oh, I said this way. Adding height this time. Five, six, seven, switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, jumping jacks. Over here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two and two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Last one. One, two. All right. So now what we're going to do little jog in place, we're gonna hook to the body. So that's this part of your body in the mirror. So you're coming right foot, uh, left foot back, hooking into the ribs, okay? Eight here, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Jumping jacks, full on. Other side, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure that you keep in mind all of those things that we changed for our posture. Four here. One, two, three, four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Yes. Two and two, y'all. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. All right, run in place. Now we are going to do our kicks to warm up. Snap kick side back crescent. Same format, adding jump rope instead of the jumping jacks. All right, so the snap kick, bring that right foot or the left foot back. The left foot is pointed away from the body. Shift the weight onto that left foot. Make sure that that tailbone is tucked under. One and down, two and down. Let's go. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Jump rope, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jump rope, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four counts. One, two, three, 
four, one, two, three, four, other side, go, one, two, three, control, control, four, it's all about control, two and two, one, two, snap it out, one, two, Woo, that's hard, one, two, one, two, jump rope. Now we're gonna go into the side kick. So let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna come out to the side and back down. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, jump rope. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, there's your target. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jump rope. Make sure to maintain that posture. You can decide how high you wanna go. Keep it low, hip level is fine. Here we go for four. One, two, three, four, jump rope. One, two, three, four, here we go, four, four, three, two, one, here we go, jump rope. Two times, bam, bam, jump rope, bam, bam, jump rope, bam, bam, jump rope, last one, bam, bam, whoa, that was bad. All right, let me see your faces, how we doing? Everybody's doing all right? Gallery, oh, yeah. what's up? Cool beans. Anytime you need a break, go ahead and take a break. Anytime you need water, you do that too. All right. We're going to get into the crescent kick. Actually, let's just do with the knees. So what that's going to look like is up, down, up, down. I really want you to sweep the floor and create some distance and momentum because I really want your body to want to go in the opposite direction. Then we're going to do same thing. Eight, eight, four, four, two, 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 two with the jump ropes. Here we go. Eight, seven, six. Keep that core nice and tight. Jump rope. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, jump rope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, doing four. One, two, three, four, jump rope. Other side, one. Core tight, two, three, four. Now we're gonna go for two and two. Two and two, bam, 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 bam. One more time, one, two, one, two. All right, now we're gonna go into a little bit of circuit. This is gonna be all time. Grab some water if you need it. I really need to do this in the basement, man. My house is hot, which is a good thing. I'm thankful for that. Okay, so stop, watch. We're gonna do squat, hook, squat, hook, squat, hook for 45 seconds. And then we're gonna go into jump rope for recovery for 15 seconds. No, 30 and 30. We're doing 30 second squat, hook, 30 second jump rope. Here we go. Squat, hook, squat. Make sure to use the core to get that hook. Bam, bam. You're also pivoting to get that uppercut in. Oh, hook, not, sorry. Yep, hook, hook, 
poke, jump ropes. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get into a plank position. We're gonna walk out the plank. We're gonna walk back in with the crescent knees. Okay, so stay here. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. You're gonna walk out to a plank, walk back in, come up, crescent, crescent. Walk back down, walk back up, crescent, crescent. In three, two, one, let's do it. Walk down to plank, walk up, Fifteen seconds to go, my friends. And jump rope. So now we're going to go into lunge with the chamber. Okay, so keep jump roping. We're going to come back to a lunge chamber lunge chamber but we're also going to switch sides on that so every time you come up chamber feet down switch chamber feet down hold it in the chamber hold it in the chamber for one second ready here we go back chamber back chamber back chamber back chamber Switch sides. Back chamber. Back chamber. Oops. Back chamber. One more on each side. Back chamber. Hold it here for jump rope. We're going to go into another plank. So we're going to come down into a plank position. You can stay there and bring one hand up alternate or you can come down and tap the toes so it's going to look like this and go so plank to tap Ten seconds, and you're going to come into jump rope. Jump rope here, go. Get fancy with your jump ropes. Whatever you want, high knees in your jump rope. It's up to you. It's your workout. We have fifteen seconds to go. Then we're gonna go into reverse tabletop. So we're gonna get down onto the floor, hips up in the air, tap the knee, roll over. Let's come down onto the floor. Reverse table, tap, roll, reach, switch side. Tap, roll, reach, switch sides. Tap. Roll, reach, tap, roll, reach, tap, roll, reach. Take it at your own pace. Go to the level where you can. Let's come up. Jump rope again. Next, we're going to do side lunges with a tap. So a little bit more cardio. I adjusted too much. So it's gonna be side, tap, side, tap. And go. I'm feeling it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling it. Are you guys sweating and breathing heavy out there? Oh yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. We got 10 seconds here. Then from here, we are going to do a 
the skill that we did last week, which is gonna be getting up from a seated position, four jabs and side kicks, okay? So let's get down onto the floor. If you have a mat, you may wanna use it so we can just revisit the skill. So from here, come onto the tops of the feet, back, thrust the hips forward, back, thrust the hips forward. Okay, and then from here, we're gonna step up with one foot, bringing the hips back, leaning forward, switching sides. Now add a kickstand with that back foot. Now you're gonna come into a seated position. So as you thrust forward, down, switch, come up. Down, switch, up, down, switch, up, down, switch, up. To add an option, you can add your hand so it will look like this. All right, four more on each side. Still doing okay? It's brutal, right? 35. All right, then you're gonna come up. So everybody's gonna do this at their own time. You're going to come to a standing position. Four jabs. One, two, three, four. Four side kicks. One, two, three, four. Then you're gonna come back down, roll back up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Back down, back up. All right, we're gonna do that for one minute. You guys ready? I need to hear something. You ready? Absolutely. Yes. Let's get it, get down and up. Let's go, let's do it. You got one minute. Control, control, control. If you don't have the space to get through the whole movement, modify, do what you can. I'm having a hard time because I don't have that much space either because I need you guys to be able to see me. You're doing fantastic. Control, 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 okay? Look where you're kicking. You're halfway done with this. Look where you're punching. Less than 20 seconds to go. You guys are kicking booty and taking names and I love it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, two and a half. One, all right, so stand up, shake it out. What else did I wanna do with you? I feel like we can do, no, we need to stretch. All right, boom. So what was that? Maybe, maybe 20 minutes. You guys can turn on your mics for a second. Let me just gauge you. So yeah. what do you think, 20 minutes about, 25 minutes maybe? Feeling yep. pretty good. Don't sit down though. Keep keep moving. How was it? That was 28 minutes. 28 minutes. Pretty good, right? Feel like you got a good workout in for 28 minutes? Yep, sweaty. 
Yeah, I have, I'm dripping too, for sure. Excellent. All right, so let's go ahead and do um, some stretches. We'll do um, one more uh, core exercise. I just want to get in a little bit more rotation. And then we'll go in and uh, do the stretches. Oh, I have chats. Um, yes, my dog's name is Espresso. And thank you all for saying that he's cute. I appreciate that. I responded in a timely manner, right? Like that wasn't too long. Okay, so let's get down onto the floor. All right, so from here, what I want you to do is bring the hands across, actually bring the hands up. And this is gonna force you to open up that chest. You wanna be on the sit bones. So on those pelvic, on the pelvic bone, you should feel bones in your hips. And that's what you're on the, making contact with the floor. You don't want to come here. This isn't what we want. Get that pelvis in neutral. This is neutral pelvis. You, you, can you guys see the difference? Wait, I need to get out of this view. I thought I did and I did not. I got distracted by my dog is cute. Okay. So the difference between being on the sit bones here and here, you see the difference? You see how my back is curved? If I'm on my sit bones, it forces my spine into alignment. So this is where I want you to be. Hands up, and then I want you to come back to where you feel your abdominals engage. Exhale and come back up. Inhale, exhale up. Take that right arm and now we're gonna cross over and switch. Come on to your back. This is going to be a very, very, very small movement. I don't even think you're gonna be able to see the movement on camera. You're going to make a diamond with your hand and you're going to bring your diamond underneath um, the belly button. So you take your diamond, you bring your diamond here. So the crest of the pelvis, you can bring your feet up towards the ceiling, flex those toes and push your heels up against the ceiling like this. Very, very small movement. It's not this. That's not what I'm looking for very small because what we're trying to do is we're trying to activate the muscles in the pelvic floor which is going to give us more power when we are throwing those punches okay these are muscles that we don't work so from here again you're going to squeeze the bum so squeeze the butthole squeeze the pelvic floor everything there and then push the heels up towards the ceiling nice and small movements nice and controlled like I said, I don't even know if you'll be able to see the movement on camera because it's a really small movement, but it is powerful. So give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. I am burning up. 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring the knees into the chest. Bring the head and shoulders up off the mat. Hands behind the head. Bring one leg out, making sure to keep that lower back on the floor. I am hitting the wall so I can't come down. Lower back is always on the floor. Adjust if needed after each rep. Two, last one. Knees into the chest, drop the knees over to one side, glance over to the opposite side of your knees, palm facing up towards the ceiling, extend that top leg, try to grab that toe if you can, so you're reaching for the toes, and if you can grab your feet, great, if not, don't worry, the goal is to stretch, so you're still doing the movement. Bring the knees in, rotate to the other side. Oh, this should feel glorious. Extend that leg if you can. 
and let that leg fall wherever it wants to fall. If you can reach and grab the toes, then you can reach and grab the toes. If not, no worries. Come back to center, love up on yourself. Give yourself a hug. Rock side to side. Now from here, bring the hands underneath the thighs and try to rock yourself up, hold it. Don't let the knees touch. Slow, come down, rock up. Don't let the knees touch. Down and up. Down and up, give me two more. Oh, I'm getting lazy. All right, from here, come into, come into a, a split squat or a lunge position. So front leg is at 90 degrees, your back leg is at 90 degrees. Then I want you to fall onto the hip of the front leg that is bent 90 degrees. So you look like this. So my front leg is at 90 degrees. My back leg is at 90 degrees. From the side, it will look like this, okay? From here, you're gonna lift up towards the ceiling, fold forward, and roll back, taking that top arm, rolling and opening up that chest. Closing, coming forward again. One more time. Switch to the other side. Fold forward, roll back, open up. One more time. And then center, drop one hip. This is just assess where your hips are. Do they feel a little bit more open today than they did yesterday? I don't know if we, we did this one yet. Go ahead and cross the um, right leg over left. And then what I want you to do is fan out, fan side to side. What this is gonna do, it's going to hit different muscles in the glutes or different parts of the glutes. Okay, make sure not to sink. You saw me, I had to kind of correct. Oh, there we go. Fanning side to side is going to get each of the muscle fibers in the different positions instead of a static hold. You never want to just sit in one place. This one place will get stretched. But what about this? What about here? So you always want to make sure that you're moving along in the direction of those muscle fibers to release the fascia in that tissue. All right, I think that is it for me. Check the time. Oh, we still got a couple more minutes, good. So let's do one more stretch. We're gonna do our necks because everybody's always stressed out and this always feels great. Okay, so take your hands, bring your hands to your chest, okay? Drop the knees off beside you or um, come into just like a seated position right now. I'm just seated, I'm sitting on a stool. Take your chin, I want you to bring your chin forward and up and then go left and right. So down, forward and up. And then just start to move your neck in this position, nice and slow. And then you're gonna feel all of the muscles and that tissue in the neck. It's gonna feel very elast like elastics. It's gonna feel very wiry. It's just gonna feel pretty weird, okay? Come back to center. Now you're going to lead with your jaw, pushing the jaw forward like this. Feel how that changes things. Does it change anything for you now that you're leading with your jaw? Now stick your tongue out, try to touch your nose and do the same thing.
Take one hand, go ahead and sit on the top of your hand. Okay, take the other hand gently, add a little bit of pressure, not much, just a very slight pressure to that shoulder. And then look over into the opposite direction and then bring your nose to the, opposite, to the other shoulder. Come up, sweep, 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 sweep. Switch sides. And come back center. Cross your hands, breathe in deep. Exhale. Oh man. All right, you can move your neck around and just feel the difference. Did you even realize how tight and how tense you were in your neck and your body before we, ah, I see the yawning, yes. Yes, no, that is a good thing. That means that there was space, even after the workout, there's space in your lungs that still weren't like getting air. So that was your body like, ah, oh, yes, we are now in a different state. We are now in the parasympathetic nervous system. There's air being put in different parts of your lungs that weren't getting air before. So that's awesome. No, you are in the best energy space right now. All right, any notes? What did you guys think of today's class? Usually during after tough classes, people say they hate me, but I don't, I don't get that vibe from you guys. I definitely feel more loose. Yeah. Which stretch resonated with you the most? Definitely the neck one for me. Who said that? Mark. All right. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. The neck stretches, right? Did you guys feel a difference between just moving your head and then adding the chin and then adding the tongue? Yeah. yeah. What do you yeah. normally see when somebody says stretch your neck? Rocking side to side. Do you guys still see this? I see like the rolling, like rolling the head around. Yeah, yeah I, I do that as part of my physical therapy. Yeah. So when you pull on the head, you're adding pressure and you're creating this, this external resistance. So as a stretch therapist, I like to have the body kind of do its thing on its own. And that's why I say, if you just add a little bit of pressure here and then let the joint, see, I'm not putting any pressure on the joint. I'm just holding the tissue. I'm holding and pinning the muscle versus this, I'm pulling on the joint. Because if I hold it here and then I let it do its stuff on the inside, ooh, it is yummy and delicious. Yeah, I'm weird. That's exactly how I talk about movement. I'm like, ooh, that's sexy. Ooh, that looks so good. I guess maybe that's how somebody who looks at an Excel spreadsheet, they're like an accountant or something. Like those numbers are, ooh. I see your formula, your calculations. That's fancy. We all have our things. I just admit it. All right, guys. So if you have any questions for me, please hold back. Um, I'll be happy to answer the questions. And if not, I will see you next week. Go ahead and keep a lookout for that quiz. I'm trying to get that out to you this week. Um, if you don't see it, don't freak out. That means that I probably didn't get it out and that's okay. No stress. All right. Like I said, if you have questions for me, I will be here. If not, have a great week and weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.